but what I've been working on today is getting the sills de-rusted, painted, cut and polished. Bring some bling on now as well. Got these uh, pretty natty stainless steel door handles. They look really good. Second seat's in. Got the uh, all of the footwells back in. So, we will give an update. So, I've actually got two lots of, uh, of work combined today. So, uh, it's 19 and 20. So, I'll tell you, explain why. So, I took it for an MOT with us. And, uh, well, there was a few issues that uh, still needed to be sorted. So, this is the main refusal certificate <coughs> and then there are just pages that go with this pages and pages and pages um, <laughs> main thing being that the underside the suspension uh, was has had quite a severe knock so the anti-roll bar was actually fractured so I had to get a, uh, a new replacement for that so as you can see underneath oh, you just about see the corner of the bar there looping so that was really difficult to feed through what I had to do was unbolt it from the obviously take the wheels off jack it up and do the CV joints uh, and bolt the bushes underneath and also uh, take off the exhaust or unbolt the exhaust at least to be able to then man man angle it and uh, move it about to be able to get it free very difficult job indeed a um, couple of other things under there CV boots drop link has also been changed uh, in the dash at the moment we've got a after me buggering up the old steering wheel I bought a replacement off of eBay and uh, we have taken today, I had a friend over uh, give me some help to do the uh, horn and trace through where the problem is. It turns out that the horn ring behind the steering wheel, which is this thing here, has uh, got some kind of fault in it. But, uh, so I'm going to get a replacement for that and get that on, see if that fixes the problem with the horn. So other things that I've done on, uh, on it on eight, is all the interior back in, all of the flooring's done um, and today I managed to finally get the camera fitted and what we've done is I'm going to show you, close the top down, excuse me Dudley. So, here is the rear view camera, and that is just fitted into the place where the rear windscreen wiper arm should be. Amazing that the, the diameter of the camera was exactly the same as the wiper motor arm. Now, as there's no adjustment required at all for that, um, just run that back and see if I can get it in a better light position. So you can see, so camera there through, cabling down. I've slipped it at the moment, just slipped it inside. I'm going to put some cable ties around this and hold it in position. Uh, and then obviously the feed then runs back through, up, back through the, the, the rubber grommet, which was exceptionally difficult to get it through that part and then just straight back along the ceiling all the way down, drops down into the front now, at the moment that uh, cable runs through as I say, through to the ceiling down the back here and then onto the uh, rear view mirror cam camera screen now, I've yet to get the power feed sorted for that as I wanted to get the, the, the MOT sorted first of all so we could actually get to use it That's taken priority but so the last thing left for the uh, MOT is to get that whole ring sorted back into position what I thought I'd do is also what I'm in this state is take the opportunity to go and get a cruise control switch 
So I'm going to swap this out and put the cruise control in whilst we've got this off. So, cruise control on, get the horn working, get an MOT on it, and then we're just going to get out there for a bit, start using it, and then see how we go. All other things we've done, by the way. Um, electrics in here, when I took it to be MOT, they also sorted the electrics for the uh, passenger airbag that was disconnected so they spent a day doing the wiring on there all sorts of things i mean the, this as i as i explained earlier with the all the cab wiring that i've taken out of it that's uh, proved very difficult a couple of other issues that we've got at the moment we've noticed is that the switches inside the door locks uh, which show the whether or not the door is locked or not um, on the dash they've got a fault with both this passenger door and the sliding door now as those switches are 130 quid a piece we're looking at uh, I'm looking at another alternative see if we can just get something from Maplin some switches maybe even flip back it may be the reason why they'd uh, got this malarkey going on in the door just as a, as a, a cheat to get around it we'll see might see how we look on eBay see if I can get anything to pick up a, a replacement but very difficult to get to paneling here uh, is actually bolted to the uh, window as well so to take the, the paneling out you have to take the entire window out which is a quite a problematic job but hey and yet another one to be covered try and get it back in good shape all right so there we go so that's 19 and 20 catch you later